Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual. I was out running errands for about a couple, three, four hours, so I was not able to get you guys the news instantly, but we are here today at 5 p.m. PST, and guys, we have some good information. And I must say, this is really damn good, especially for the US dollar to Mexican peso corridor through on-demand liquidity. So before we get into it, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the charts. And it kind of did exactly what I said in the short term, all right? So again, this morning had this initial impulse from 25 to 26. I started streaming around uh, here, I believe. And this is where I pretty much said, hey, you know what? This is just the bulls and bears kind of having a fight uh, after the initial impulse, kind of like a post impulse indecision, I like to call it. And then I said, hey, Usually when these types of things happen in the morning, uh, they will you'll usually get the same thing later in the day again. So sure enough, bulls and bears battled it out, kind of found some ground, found some support, essentially consolidated, and then look at that, made another break up. And we are literally, as I am making this video, talking to you guys right now, uh, 274 is a pretty... Pretty good resistance. So we're actually battling resistance right now. And honestly, guys, the next stop is 30 cents. And oh my freaking God, I cannot wait to get out of the 20s and back into the 30s. The 30s were so nice and comfortable in terms of profits. God, guys, the low 20s. I, I hate the low 20s. I never want to see them again. But looks like we are doing A-OK. -okay. So let's go ahead and get into the news. I originally saw this from Jenna One Trick, so I'm going to go ahead and use her tweet. Massive credit to her. And by the way, guys, something she also let me know about uh, a week, about a week ago is tomorrow. Do not miss it. Tomorrow at 8 a.m. PST, I will be awake. My, you know, my Alexa is actually very, very reliable in terms of an alarm. Uh, so tomorrow at 8 a.m. PST, we have an ODL webinar with Ashish Birla. And coincidentally, the day before the ODL webinar, we get some new ODL news. And by the way, guys, this ain't no... X current or oh they're testing with Ripple or oh oh they're just using Ripple technology not XRP uh 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 no 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 this is flat out XRP utility right here and I want to get into sp some specific numbers as to why this is so exciting so literally just announced today I believe it broke just about three hours ago so get this uh International Money Express a leading remittance uh, services company focused primarily on the Latin American and Caribbean corridor announced today that it has decided to partner with Ripple, a provider of leading enterprise blockchain solutions for global payments. The partnership will enable Intermex, I actually really do like that name, Intermex, um, to utilize Ripple's on-demand liquidity product through RippleNet, the company's global network of financial institutions that sends money globally, instantly, and reliably for fractions of a penny. I don't even like saying that. Honestly, the XRP ledger to me is no fees. Because, on you know what, to me, 0 0.0006 of a dollar, that's not a fee. That is basically free. So ODL leverages the digital asset XRP. Oh my God, the, the three letters that shall not be named. Uh, as a real-time bridge between the sending and receiving currencies and alleviates the need for pre-funding accounts and cross-border payments. CC Cleaner, no thank you. Ah, see, okay. Uh, as a real-time bridge between sending and receiving currencies, leaving any free funding, blah, 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 XRP remains the most efficient digital asset for settlement with transaction fees at just fraction of a penny. Okay, now, guys, I don't have it up right here, but I'm going to give you guys this fact, and it's a statistic, uh, but it does not appear on here, but I promise you guys I saw it through Twitter when I was out and about. Intermex alone, now guys, seriously listen to this. Just the company Intermex, okay, who just announced they will be using ODL. Intermex accounts for 27% of the U.S. dollar to Mexican peso corridor. They, ca they have captured 20, damn near 30% of the total U.S. to Mexico remittance flows. And God dang it, that just looks like we got an additional 30% of the U.S.-Mexico corridor now on ODL. Guys, very, very exciting stuff. Thank you so much for tuning the video today. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you do smash the like, subscribe, check the links in the description if you want to support the channel, and go ahead and hit those post notifications so you never miss a video or stream. And guys, just another day in the XRP ecosystem, and it's doing nothing but growing. All right, guys, thank you for tuning this one. I'll see you in the next one.